Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. In today's video, we're carrying on with our Grimsby cosplay. So, I have made bloomers. These were quite challenging, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there was a lot of work went into them and a lot of kind of winging it in terms of pattern drafting because obviously I've made bloomers before but I've never made like paneled bloomers like like this so I had to really try draft that from scratch and I think they're really cute um, they're super stretchy and they've got like cute little bows on the bottoms so that I can like tie them in tight or let them loose depending on how poofy I want them and if you're wondering about this hat which is like super cute it's got bunny ears and it's very in time with Easter coming up and all that I made this hat it will be on Etsy soon not now but soon and just it's a bunny butt it is a bunny butt beret so just quick time out to tell you about the hat I made it it's gonna be on Etsy soon keep an eye out and without further ado, let's get into the video on making Grimsby's bloomers. So I've pinned all my panels together, right sides together, and I'm going to sew all of them up on the front and the back of the bloomers. Now that all my panels are sewn together, I'm going to lay my front bloomer piece and my back bloomer piece right sides together and I'm going to sew around the curvy edge but not the straight edges. Next I'm going to pin and sew up the crotch so that I don't have crotchless bloomers. Although I reckon in some social circles that would probably be a thing, but not today. <laughs> Now they're starting to look more like a pants, albeit a ginormous tent of a pants, but they are a pants. Now 
Next, I'm cutting a piece of elastic that's tight around my waist, and this will be going into the waistband of the bloomers. So at the moment these pants are bloomers I should say, they're pretty giant, I mean look at them, they take like one of me fits into a leg. I'm going to try them on, look, I'm, I'm lost in them, I'm, I'm swimming in them, but the elastic is going to cinch that right in and give that poofy effect. So I'm going to fold down the waistband and make a casing for my elastic. So I'm making a small fold and then folding it over bigger so that there's room for the elastic to sit in. Now it's time to tread the elastic through with a safety pin. For bloomers the, this poofy, this is gonna take a while and sometimes the safety pins can be very fiddly. I had to go through like three safety pins because they kept popping open and sticking the fabric. So it took three attempts, but I got there. So here's what the bloomers look like now that the waistband has been done and as you can see I'm no longer swimming in them. So I went ahead and made casings for both of the legs and for the legs what I want to do is instead of using elastic I want to thread ribbons through them so that I can tie them and let them loose because I feel like that would be cuter and a bit more old fashioned rather than elastic.
So there you have it, the bloomers are finished. Here's what they look like. Enjoy me wobbling around awkwardly trying to show them off. Um, I'm really happy with how these turned out. There's one or two minor fit issues, but when the rest of the costume comes into play, it won't be noticed at all. I think these are super cute and I hope you guys do too. As always, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you have any video ideas that you want me to cover in the future, please comment below. Um, and as I said before, the bunny beret hat will be up in the Etsy store soon. So hopefully before Easter, but maybe just a little bit after Easter, depending on how, how this whole coronavirus thing pans out. So I'm going to leave it here. Take care and look after each other. Don't go outside. Social distance. Wash your hands. Don't spit on anybody. All right. Bye, guys.